Alexis, and I'm 29. All right, and Alexis, why did you end up popping your balloon? I mean, he's, like, too pretty. Like, you could tell you do a lot getting ready and stuff. Like how she said, she doesn't want a man in the mirror longer than she is. But, I mean, hey, you, you look good, but not really my type. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> hey, it's not only how you're dressed, it's, it's in your face. It's so in my face, too? You're, you're a pretty boy. Okay. It's not bad. Okay. <laughs> This clip is actually real funny, dog, because these women, they don't want that smoke. They don't want the smoke of having to deal with a man who is confident in himself, who knows he looks good. Because that's why they use the excuse of, oh, I don't want a man who looks like he takes too much time in the mirror. Because these women, they can go hours putting on all of the makeup, getting their lace fronts and their wiggish and weavage together. But when you're a man who actually looks good, you ain't even got to do too much. They just think because you take care of yourself, you actually smell good, you actually keep up with your haircuts, you keep up with your hygiene, they're going to throw all these shaming tactics at you. Even though they know you look good, they don't want you to take the spotlight away from them. Because when you look good as a handsome man, you naturally are attractive. You ain't got to put all the makeup on yourself. You ain't got to get all the surgeries. When you look good, you are blessed with your looks. So when you look good, you're going to take the spotlight away from them. And that's why a lot of women that you'll deal with that reject you really are insecure within themselves. And that's why they will use this to boost up their ego. Even though they know you look good, they'll still say you look handsome, they'll still say you sexy, you fine, but then they'll play games with you. Then they'll try and say, oh, I think you sassy, I think you so arrogant, I think you ego. They'll try to say you a player. They'll try to say all these things to diminish who you are just because you take care of yourself. See, a lot of these women, they not gonna be willing to deal with it's like to keep an attractive man because they know with what comes with it is they gotta be on their sh too. They know that if you're a man who's getting in the gym, they know that if you're a man who's actually grinding in your life, you're keeping up with your looks. They know that they got to put in the work too. And a lot of women, they're not going to want to do this. That's why they settle for these beta squeegees out here because these are just men that they can use to boost up their ego. These are just men that they can use to get all the validation off them. But they always going to truly desire you. But they're going to do things to self-sabotage themselves from dealing with a man like you because they know they can't handle you. Trust me, when a woman sees you as an attractive man, you cannot be cloned. Every man has a unique way of how they're attracted to these women out here. So if you know that you're a man who's dealing with a lot of these women out here, trust me, these women know that if you can get them, you can do better as an attractive man. They know that if you look good, you got a handsome face, you got a nice body, you got something going on in your life. They know that you can get better than them. Trust me, that's why when you got a girl so geeked up that she's talking to her homegirls about you, don't let her bring you around the homegirls because that will end their friendship so quick. Trust me, when you're an attractive man and you go around a woman that you messing with homegirls, you're going to ruin that whole thing so quick. Because when you look good, they're going to try to sabotage what she got going on because they know that you're a man who they know that they want also. They're going to do things to try and sabotage what she got going on. That's why you notice every time when a girl starts talking to her homegirls about you and she didn't show them pictures of you, she didn't talk about you, she didn't talk about how you did until she must. The women, they're going to try to ruin what you got going on because they want a piece of this in all honesty. As an attractive man, it's going to be like a double-edged sword when dealing with these women. Because it can also get you in trouble when you outweigh women and other women are also attracted to you. Because trust me, when you're an attractive man, women are going to let it be known. Even if you're with another girl, if the woman is truly choosing up on you, you could just be walking around with a girl and that girl that's with you, she going to notice the signs of other women checking you out. And that's why she's going to be pressed up all extra against you. That's why she's going to start talking to you more. She's going to try to kiss up on you more. Because women, they can notice the signs of other women checking you out. They can notice when other women are also attracted to you. That's why it's going to make them insecure. That's why they're going to try to avoid dealing with you because they don't want the problems of what come with it. They know they're going to have to stay being on this. They know they're going to have to deal with other women checking you out. They want all the spotlight and you're going to take that away as a man who takes care of yourself, as a man who's self-improving in his life and you actually look good. You ain't got to be bad man careful and get all the BBL muscles. You ain't got to do have all the bread and, and change up all these things and get all the surgeries. You ain't got to do none of that. If you look good, you basically already blessed. Because out of the billions of men out here, when a woman sees you and you look good, trust me, all the men that they be dealing with that don't look as good as you, they're going to throw it all out the window. When a woman is truly attracted to you, she ain't going to be attracted to no other man. She wants you. She ain't going to want to do nothing. She ain't going to want to cheat on you. She ain't going to want to play with you or none of that. She going to make it be known that she wants to deal with you. She going to make it be known how she wants to do the double monkey backflips on you when you're the man that she truly wants. That's why you got to stand on business with who you are. Let them call you all the sassies, all the arrogant, all the ego. If you ain't going to love yourself, who going to do it for you? If you ain't going to take care of your handsome face, if you ain't going to get in the gym, breaking your body down, going them days sore, 
but you know them gains is gonna come who's gonna do it for you if you ain't gonna get out here be a dog and chase after that chicken bag who's gonna do it for you so when a woman sees this and you know that you're established in your life she's gonna know it's gonna take a lot of work to deal with you that's why some women they will even low-key try and slick down talk you see they know you look good but if you try and acknowledge it as an attractive man it's gonna low-key lower your value to them because it's gonna kind of be like you overdoing it to them that's why they go for the quote-unquote medium ugly dudes see the medium ugly dudes they can wear the sunglasses the beanies they can do all, wear all these accessories to enhance their looks but as an attractive man once you do that it's gonna be like oh you're doing too much oh you flexing oh you 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 think you all that you think you, you're too big-headed boy bye that's how they're gonna treat you when you're a man who looks good and you know that when you're a man who stands on that they're gonna slick hate on you because they know you're getting all the women that's why when you deal with these women, before you even deal with them, they're going to think you're a player off rip and they're going to try and avoid you. And bro, you'll even have some women that say, oh, I have a boyfriend, but you handsome though, but you fine though. And it's like, why even say that? Because you know you want me to crack them buns, but you're just making up an excuse to reject me because you know you're not going to be able to handle all this. You know that once you deal with me, you're going to be going crazy because I'm going to be stuck in your head 24-7. You are the master key as an attractive man. These women are the locks. So when they know that you're a master key that them been through all these different locks, they're not going to want to be with you if they lock is the rusty one, if they lock is the one that's been used up by all these different master keys. They ain't going to want to deal with you because they didn't know how many locks you didn't been through. Always stand on who you are as a man. Let these people call you sassy. Shoot, it's not even just the women no more. It's these hating ass beta squeegee dudes that will hate on you. They'll see you having either big lips, clear skin, you, take, you have a haircut, you're looking good, and for some reason, even they will hate on you. It's even them more nowadays that will hate on you. And that's why as men, we can't even come together because it's men hating on each other instead of realizing that you have the same 24 hours in the day to improve on yourself in your life. You got the same 24 hours in the day to get in the gym and work on your body. You got the same 24 hours to work on your face. You got the same 24 hours to get your bag up. So there's no reason to hate on nobody. Every man has their unique way of maximizing their attractiveness. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Don't let me and my RBL be the only one out here slaying these dragons. Be the only one out here getting all the cheeks. Why you sitting here hating on us because we realize our value? Why you sitting here hating on us while we getting our bag up? While we driving them cars? While we doing everything that we wanted to do in our life? Continue to grind no matter who looks down on you, no matter what they say. Who you sassy? I don't give a damn. You can say whatever you want, but I'm always going to get to the W. RBO for life.